Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. In the last part, we cleared out, cleared out a couple of rooms in the basement and the uh, third floor. So now it's time to visit a new floor of this house, which is actually only one room. The rooftop. Well, it's just called the roof. Elevator music. Do, 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 do. And we're here! Elevator music makes everything go faster. Anyway, there's a bunch of Shy Guy ghosts here. Just pull off their masks like that. You know the drill with these guys. Oh no, don't split up, don't split up! Don't, the ah, oh, you split up and you knock me off. Curse you! And there's one ghost me. Boo with one B. Why did I say boo? A Shy Guy with one H. You left which I'm gonna take. And I'm gonna try and take one group at a time, basically, if I can. The reason why is because... You know, I don't really want them to continuously attack me. So, just focus on one group at a time. The, um, when you take a, a Shy Guy Ghost from a group of two, then the other one starts going after you. But otherwise, if you just leave both of them, they'll stay and do their little dance thing here. So, yeah, you get the idea. And, well, I let one go accidentally there, but that's okay. I would prefer to take on one at a time in case they split like they did before. Um, in case you didn't realize, the ones that have those spears do that spinny attack there. And that takes care of that. Isn't there a couple more things? That's what I thought. And these are ice skulls, which you need fire to take care of. You get fire from that um, bonfire in the center of this room here, or I should say the center of the roof, which they appear to be having some sort of tribal dance on top of the roof here. See, so if you shake that thing, you'll get a fire element in ghost there, and yeah, you need that to take on these ghosts. So, I would recommend that you do so. Obviously. Otherwise, you can't do anything about this. So anyway, up there is a chest full of loot, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't think there's anything else in this room, actually. But I'll, I'll be sure to check everything out, just to be sure. And, oh, it's a key! I thought there was loot in there. Where does that key go to? Uh... Third floor. Um, before I drop down somewhere from here, I think I'm gonna go check that out. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to walk back up here again. But uh, yeah, I, I don't think there's anything that I could pick up over here. I'm just gonna take a look, see around here. Well, besides this ghost that I could use to recharge my fire, a little Poto Boo. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that, and go and take out those other two rooms in the third floor here, so let's drop down here. This will be a little time saver for later, but I will be back on the roof later. You definitely want to go back to the roof later, because there's a, a gold mouse opportunity. Uh, a really annoying gold mouse opportun opportunity that I'll be covering. Well, I shouldn't say I will be covering, but I, wa I won't be showing it unless it appears... But I will cover it, excuse me. Okay, this is the uh, armory room, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so there's ghosts in these treasure chests here, as well as loot. Woohoo! Uh, there's also a mirror behind that sheet on the wall there. Uh, if you ever want to warp back to the first floor, which I won't want to do just yet. I should say the uh, foyer. Well, the foyer is on the first floor. Hello there. Take on one treasure chest at a time, and uh, just take take out the ghosts that appear from that treasure chest. The reasoning is that you don't want to be overwhelmed, basically. So, if you find any pocket change as well, pick that up. Um, hello there. And hello there. You are going in the bowels of my vacuum. There we go. And is there another chest? Um, with these... Uh, ar suits of armor here. What you want to do is sh like shake them from a distance here, or shake them on the sides. Uh, because if you uh, ever get one of those that have a mace and you shake them from the front, what'll happen is that you're gonna take damage from the mace, basically. That's like a little beginner's trap, so to speak, for this area. And there's more ghosts if you shake the armor. Uh, this one. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot! I shook that one in front and I just noticed it, it had a mace. Give me your ectoplasm! There we go. And this one's got a mace too. I think I'm better off shaking these from the back. And that was definitely a good idea. No, 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 don't, don't! Uh, get! Uh, Boo bars, I hate those things! Come on. 
Where'd you appear from? There we go. Yay! One more with a mace over. Oh, wait, there's actually two more on the side that I forgot. Ooh, a heart. I could use that now that I took some hits. Come on, where'd you go? Yay! Okay. <laughs> I want to shake that guy from the back and. Oh, man. Am I gonna have to take damage for this one? Can I, like, tap it from here? There we go. I guess that's a safe place to get it from. And. Looks like. Oh, he broke me up. Broke, uh, broke me off of my hole. And. And this should clear the room. Yay! I believe this treasure chest has nothing but loot in it. Ah, I, I guessed that on the roof, too. But that it had a key! Then again, I'm not complaining. Because <clears throat> I need that to complete the game, after all. Oh, see what I mean about the. What I said in the last part about that I have to keep going back from room to room? This is going to lead me all the way back to the basement. But before I do that, I want to um, get the booze in this room under boo. Oh no! Uh, I actually, actually don't kind of get that joke either in a way. I, I, I don't know if they're trying to like say Undertaker or something like that. Instead of... Uh, like, there's a, a, there's a lot of things that you could use the word under for, so to speak. Like underwear or something like that. So that's why I don't quite get that pun, in essence. Uh, no, 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 don't, don't go in that room. That, that, room's, uh, oh. that room's not cleared yet. Anyway, let's see if there's another boo around here. There should be. Yeah, this is Boomerang, the one that I missed because I couldn't get him before. And he got through this room. Uh, I should say this wall. Dang it. And this is going to take a few tries to get these boos with really large amounts of HP here. But luckily, all these rooms are open and... Uh, Re ready for me to go to. So, uh, back to the clockwork room. And here we go again. This room is pretty uh, open, so it shouldn't be too hard to get him from in here. I should say get a lot of HP from him in here. Um, I like the, thi the thing that Luigi kind of follows him automatically when you hold the button down. Um, because otherwise you would have to keep redirecting your vacuum stream to face him. Because you don't actually hook on to a boo like you do other ghosts. You... Oh, dang it. You, uh, you have to follow it around the room, as I've said before. Okay, go into another room. Preferably... I was going to say preferably not the armory. Because there's all these uh, suits of armor in the way. And they really get in the way of getting this boo. Ah, oh, no, I can't get them. <laughs> Curses! Well, the third floor is almost cleared out here. Or I should say... Uh, the rooms are almost cleared out here, so I should be just be able to go back in the other rooms and clear them out. And, oh, you appeared in a dark room? I thought you can't do that. Well, that's nice. Uh, why are you not sucking in my vacuum cleaner? Ah, curses. Okay, so now what I, what I want to do is try and get him not to go back in that jar room there. That jar room had a portrait ghost, by the way. I uh, just thought I would say that. Go. Uh, he just went back in the jar room. You know what? I'm gonna let him go and just uh, take care of Jarvis, which is he, which is in this room here. Um. So let's just. Why is he so hard to get in this room? It's like he takes so little damage. Wait. As long as he went in this room, now I'll try and get him in this room again. 69. That is the most sexual numbers. Oh. Wait, wait, what? You're not allowed to go that way. Did you see that? He... Wait, wait. He, he couldn't have gone... Uh, did he go into this room? Because it, it looked like he went off to the left. Yeah, he did. Huh. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make him go into that room again. And he's gonna go into the hallway. <sighs> Why are you being such a pain, boo? Why are you being such a pain, man? Okay. Which way are you gonna go? Which way are you gonna go? That way? Can I... And... Okay, I would, I would definitely prefer to go into the clockwork room to get him than the, those other two rooms. He just doesn't take a lot of damage in there. Maybe it's because the room is dark. Maybe that's why. It gives him more power or something like that. And... Here we go. Do I have to look for that boo again? No, I don't. Because I, I figured by the time I got to him, he would have been hiding by then. And... Go, 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 go! Yeah! Finally! 
Alright, now I'm gonna be going to the jar room or whatever they call that room. I forgot the name of it. Um, it's got Jarvis in it, and he's an optional portrait ghost, but you want to go go and get him for the uh, pocket change that he gives you, of course. So, let's go ahead and do that. You need the ice element to do so. Conveniently, there's an ice face right here. Who would have guessed? And what you want to do over here is shake this face here, and you'll get a ruby from it. Awesome sauce. And... If you would also like to do, you can also shake these other vases for um, some pocket change. Should be some stuff in some of them, if I'm not mistaken. Go bar. Um, when you're ready, shake that blue gold, uh, that blue vase over there, and a ghost will pop out. Whoops! Didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to approach it. I guess approaching it will just work out there. And uh, yeah, this is his jar collection. Evidently, the collectors or something like that. He's pretty proud of them. And. Uh, I have to freeze him with ice. This is pretty easy to do. He'll only appear in these four jars there in front of you. And all you have to do is uh, wait for him to appear. And just freeze him like that. No problem whatsoever. Um, although, what you do have to do is get him each and every time. If you miss him once, uh, you have to restart this little game from the beginning. Um, but once you do get him, you pretty much have him for good. He... He's pretty much defenseless after this game. As a matter of fact, he doesn't really damage you at all. Hmm. Come to think of it. I hope he'll probably drop a poisonous mushroom. Oh, game's over. And the results are... I am awesome! Woo! Yeah, you lost. And uh, what are you talking about? Getting stuffed in one of those jars? And, uh... I I'm not gonna get stuffed in one of those jars. Don't be silly. And as you... Oh, I see. Uh, he does have an attack. It's... He throws those jars at you, or I should say those jars come at you. Uh, and those jars, as you can see, are the most unique jars in the entire game. Um, just by their design alone. So, these jars are kind of made exclusively for this room. And that's it. That was an optional portrait ghost, as I said before. Uh, so you don't have to get him, but I do recommend you get him for the pocket change, as well as completion's sake. And there's a white diamond there, as I said before, worth two million bucks. Awesome sauce. And... That's about it, really. Boo! Uh, it's a bomb. Looking for Boo. Looking for Boo. There we go. Ooh, it's underwear! And hopefully you're not that smelly. I hope you're washed well, okay? Takes care of that. And there should be another Boo in this room, because it's cleared. And... Uh, you told me about Van Gore here before, Egan. Uh, Alright, let's take a look around again. Because I'm pretty sure there's one more boot to be found in this room. Yup, it's Tambourine! See, I get that joke, like a tambourine. And... Come on, no! no. Yeah, I guess I guess when a, a room isn't cleared, uh, it, it's harder to get a boot because they like have more resistance to your vacuum in a darker room. I guess that's why I uh, had trouble sucking in a boo in a dark room before. So that means it shouldn't be too hard to get these boos now that these rooms are clear. So that'll be pretty nice. Yeah, this is a lot more convenient. Look how fast its HP is going down now. Woo! And come on. Come on. Ow! I want my coinage. Must get a rank. And let's try it again. Well, I shouldn't say try it again. I should say keep trying. As I said before, these boos, pretty much regardless of what you do, they're gonna get away from you and they're gonna go into another room without any possible way of stopping them. And that takes care of that. My 43 boos, only seven left. This room should be boo free now, yep. Um, just to be sure I got this room clear of pocket change, I'm gonna shake some of this stuff up over here. I'm pretty sure these things don't contain anything. Um, I guess I shall soon see. Boxes. There's a lot of stuff to shake in this room, I have to say. Um, anything more? Anything? Light? No? Okay. So, is there anything more that I can do here, honestly? Because I'm pretty sure that I got the booze in these room he rooms here. Um, you know, not the alcohol, the booze. Well, it could be alcohol. As I said, this game is not kid-friendly after that reference. <sighs> so anyway, now 
Uh, I'm gonna go off to the roof here. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to climb this ladder and drop down into the uh, sealed room, which is just climb up here and drop down into it. But I notice that I'm kind of uh, hit the 15 minute mark here, so I'm just going to end it here. And I'll see you guys in the next part when I enter the sealed room.